Before beginning the glutton air valve upgrade, remove the air supply line from the pump and follow the depressurizing procedure outlined in the manual. Start by cutting the pilot signal tubes that run from the air valve to the two pilot valves on each side of the pump. Then using a four millimeter hex wrench, remove the air valve. Remove both of the existing pilot valves. If the U-cup does not come out on the pilot valve stem, use a small O-ring pick to remove the U-cup from the pump. Install the four O-rings on the new adapter block. If needed, use some grease to hold the O-rings in place. Next, Install the two O-rings to the air ports by stretching them into place. If needed, use some grease to hold the O-rings in place. Using a medium strength thread sealer, attach the adapter block to the center section of the glutton pump using the four 5mm bolts supplied with the upgrade kit. Torque the bolts between 26 and 44 inch pounds. Place the air valve gasket into the adapter block. If needed, use some grease to hold the gasket in place. If your pump is using the data track option, install the reed switch into the air valve. Attach the air valve to the adapter block with the four 6mm bolts supplied with the kit. Torque these bolts between 100 and 120 inch pounds. Grease and install a pilot valve extension into one side of the center section where one of the pilot valves was removed from. Install the pilot o-ring onto the pilot adapter using grease to hold the o-ring in place. Install the pilot adapter with the two 4mm hex bolts supplied with the kit. Tighten and torque between 26 and 44 inch pounds.
Repeat this procedure for the second side. Grease the O-ring on the pilot valve and install by hand into the pilot valve adapter. Then tighten and torque between 100 and 120 inch-pounds. Repeat this procedure for the second side. Grease the hose barbs on the adapter block on pilot valve extensions and then install the pilot signal tubes. Finally, install the new exhaust mufflers and adapters.